Now, you know, it's the end of summer. A lot of people today start moving into college, I saw. It's a big, uh, big move-in day. My brother's moving in this weekend. There you go. Proves my point. And with the end of summer, also apparently comes the beginning of divorce season. <laughs> I'm in danger. Dangerous yeah. time for some. Yeah, it's trouble. It's trouble right now. Divorce rates consistently peak in August is what I'm seeing here. And so you might be wondering, first of all, why? Why is now the time that couples get divorced? You have any, you have any good ideas? Maybe like uh, the fun of the summer is coming to an end. The reality is setting back in that mm -hmm. they don't go to, you know, they don't live at the lake house. Mm -hmm. They don't get on a boat every weekend. The winter is coming. You're going to be trapped inside with this person for a long period of time where you guys are just going to be watching movies together. And maybe you no longer want that. Yeah, maybe many times it's easier to get along when you're out and about doing fun stuff. But then when it's just back to the humdrum home life, you start to realize this isn't the person that you want to spend so much time with. Um, according to experts, they say that couples often think that summer will help them rekindle their relationship with extra bonding time. But that often only emphasizes the issues that are that are bubbling beneath the surface in a marriage. Also, it says family vacations are often over, so it's not going to disrupt any of that. And it's it's about as far enough away. It's, it's the end point between vacations and the holidays. Mm, yeah. And that factors in as well. Let me ask you this. This is, this is when most people get divorced, when most people end things. But do you think, what do you think is the best time if you're going to split up? Tough to say. I think it depends on how far along you are in the process. Mm -hmm. If you're fairly certain, and this goes for just like regular breakups too, especially regular breakups actually I lean more into mm -hmm. rather than divorces because that's a little bit more more complex, a yeah. little bit more serious. Yeah, right. But just like I don't a, know, we don't have any experience with that. Yeah, so like just like with actually ending regular relationships, I think if you're fairly certain it's going to end, then the best time to do it is like in March. Okay, and why? Why is why because is March I the best think, time? Because I think you're gonna be like if you do it right before the winter time. The winter is when everybody's the most lonely. Like you're inside by yourself, so that transition period uh -huh. where you're like trying like figure out doing your own thing in a relationship. I just feel like the winter time is when I'm the most sad. Mm -hmm. And so that post breakup, whether you're the one who does it or not, there's still sadness that goes with that. So if you're doing that in January, I mean, January is a depressing month. You're just like sitting inside yeah. all the time. But the if you do it in like March, then you're planning everything out for the summertime. You can plan everything out for you and not for like you and someone else. So you can plan out vacations and stuff with your friends and mm -hmm. give yourself things to do. Going to the pool, having outdoor activities. There's always there's always lots of stuff in the summer. Yeah, and so that's a good time to kind of get over a breakup is during the summertime. So maybe March, it's in that sweet spot. You can be sad for like two months, mm -hmm. but then you can have the summer that you really wanted. To me, I think this is this is going to be it's close to the same time as you, but different. I think January, and I'll tell you why. Because I think you don't want to. I think through the holidays, what's worse? Going to the holidays with somebody you don't really get along with, but then at least I always feel like with couples, they say you're supposed to have a common goal. A lot of times your common goal at, at uh, family stuff around the holidays can be like both being upset together at the other people in the family. Mm -hmm. And uh, so you get through that and then you hit January. But what would be worse? Going to the holidays all alone that you just went through a breakup? That's not going to be fun for you. So you wait it out till January and then boom, you have January. You can go through Valentine's Day. You'll feel you'll feel real good as a guy. You'll be like, "Hey, everybody else, spending all this money, doing all this stuff for me." I'm sure you won't miss your girl at yeah. all. Yeah, if you're the one breaking up, if you if it's if you've that made up mean your that you're mind, you're just immune to sadness. No, but if you've made up your mind, you put it behind you that by then, and uh, that and then that time you're feeling good, and then uh, the springtime comes along, and all of a sudden you're ready to either plan a solo summer, which can be possibly fun, or you're, uh, you know, that's prime time for finding a new match. So I say January. January. Gives you six months to figure it out before the summer. Wasn't that a great riot clip?
While you're here, you should watch more of our videos and subscribe so you don't miss what we do next.